Uh, again, we can use the same kind of principles um, for recording piano. We can either go for the one mic technique or the two mic technique. The one mic technique what well, is generally used if you want to have a bit of a more natural sound of piano. You want a little bit of the room in there as well. So we take a wide diaphragm condenser like the Neumann or a C414 and generally what we're going to do is bring it up outside of the piano um, and just face it in. Um, what we're getting now then, you want it this side obviously because that's the side that's open. You also want it further away from the bass because bass um, has longer frequencies, it takes a lot longer to travel to the microphone um, and it has more energy so if we had the mic too far over that way we'd pick up a lot of the bass but not so much of the top end. So having the mic a little bit further back um, means that we're going to pick up a not much nicer balance in terms of frequency content. Um, what you're also going to pick up is a bit more room sound and it's going to sound a little bit more natural like a piano. <laughs> That's the one mic uh, technique, nice, natural, easy to set up. Uh, if we look inside the piano, what we can see is um, two different groupings of strings. So we've got the bass strings over here. You're gonna see them moving in one direction from this side and over. And then we've got the grouping of the high strings here, which are more silver color that are moving up and off in this direction. You can see that they kind of cross over here in the middle. So. What we're going to try and do when using a two mic technique is to pick up both groups of strings um, separately. So I'm going to take one of my uh, condenser mics again, we're using the Audix, the ADX 51s here. Um, make sure I've got plenty of XMR here. And then I'm going to place it over the bass strings. Nice and close. Um, as a general rule of the sound that you're going for, the closer you get to the hammers, um, these little things that hit the strings down this end, if you're not that into pianos, um, the brighter your sound's gonna be, but because you, you're gonna get closer to where the hammer's actually hitting the strings. Um, you do encounter some problems more down this end though, and that's where the pedal's going up and down, you tend to get a slight a banging noise. But if you're going for like a pop piano sound and you're recording piano, that's gonna go into a mix with drums and bass and guitars, generally we wanna try and get slightly closer to the hammers. And we're gonna take our second mic here. Again, matching microphone, Audix ADX 51s. And then we're gonna place this one over the top of the bright strings, of the high strings, sorry. Now, the big thing when recording um, piano in this kind of way is phasing. So what we wanna do is take a bit of cable and we wanna use what we call the three to one ratio. So however high above the strings the microphone is, the other mic needs to be three times the distance. Not precisely, these things are never precise, but they're close enough. So if that's one, I can take this, double it out, and get this. So this new one needs to be slightly closer. Okay, I'll take that, double it out, and they're pretty much close enough. Again, they want to be a similar distance from the strings. Okay. Now, we get a level on this um, and see how this mic position sounds. Mm -hmm. 